Hey guys, today I have an update on my Project 5 uses. Um, I finished two more products off for this project today, which is why I'm bringing this to you today because we've got quite a few things to talk about. Now I'm sorry if you hear background noises, my mom is running around doing whatever, I have a few fans on, it's so hot in here that like I kind of need the fan on. So I'm sorry if you can hear the fan, but it's we're just going to have to deal. Okay, so first we're going to start with my eyeshadow palette that I used. All of this stuff I'm sharing with you right now, I've already used five times. Um, so now we're just going to do our reviews. So first we have the Sultry Palette by ABH. And this was actually in my Pan Those Eyeshadows Challenge project. And I hit Pan on Fresh in that project. So if you want to see that, check out my Pan Those Eyeshadows but I also used the palette as a whole five times. So with all my palettes, I tried to share the love. I try to use every single shade. Um, I think I used every color except, let's see, I didn't use a few of the shimmers. I didn't use Teak or Steampunk, Ember, and then Dystopia. I might have used Dystopian as a liner, I don't remember, um, but I didn't use the black one either. But I did use everything else at least once. Um, obviously got a ton of use out of Fresh. I really like Pearl, I think that's my favorite. I was really enjoying Rose Quartz and Bloom I used in quite a few looks. I paired those three together a lot. And then I also like Birch. I like that shade too. Um, I did get good use out of twig as well so there is that I love this palette I love all of the ABH palettes I think they're really good um, I can't believe that they made this one limited edition though because this is a staple um, if you can find this somewhere I definitely recommend because it's not just for cool tone looks like a lot of people say that this is um, cool toned but I got quite a few warm tone looks just by incorporating like these two are pretty warm and then like this shimmer, this shimmer is really warm. That one looks pretty warm. Um, but yeah, I like this palette. I also did a smoky eye with these three. So I guess I did use the black. Um, but I did a smoky eye with those and that turned out really nice as well. So I really like this one and I wouldn't mind rolling that into a, pro a pan those eyeshadows again because that was a fun one to have out. Um. Let's see, that's it for eyeshadow. Next I have my Marc Jacobs bronzer. This is the high filter Instamark bronzer. And it has like a powder and a bronzer, but I kind of just mixed them together. Um, I really enjoyed this. I will definitely pull it out again. Um, yeah, I found this at TJ Maxx, so I definitely recommend if you find it, and yeah. You could probably use this just as a bronzer and a powder. I have done that as well, but I also mix them together for more of like an all-over bronze. This is a little bit deep, so it's more of a contour, but I think it worked out well, and I was really enjoying it. Next is another face product. This is the Color at Blush Trio for, from Alamar Cosmetics. We got this in BoxyCharm. This is in the Fair Light version. Um, so there are the shades there. I used every single color. Um, I really like this middle shade. It's super nice and natural, but I also did get a ton of use out of Castaway. That one was a really fun one to play with. Um, and then I did also use Scorcher a few times as well, but I mainly used this one. That one is my favorite. I can do a little swatch of that one, I guess. I'm not going to swatch like the bronzer because that's like kind of boring. So here are those three shades. I think they're really, really pretty. This formula is really nice too. Um, they're super soft and even like the ones that have like the shimmer are really just nice and glowy. They're not like sparkly, which I appreciate. 
Another face product. I used the Steve Laurent Jelly Highlighter. This is in the shade Prosecco, please. And we got this in BoxyCharm. The packaging is broken, so that's kind of annoying. But the product is really, really nice. I used it with a brush and a sponge a couple times, but I really liked the way it applied with a brush, actually. Super soft. And that is what it looks like. Now, it looks like it's pretty deep, but when I put it on my face, it looked fine. Like, I mean, you're going to blend it out. And it just looked really pretty. And I wore this, this, I mean, it's a cream, so I wore this, like, underneath powder, which I think kind of made it match my skin tone a little better. I don't know what I was trying to say. But that is what it looks like, and I really like this. This was also from BoxyCharm. Next, I have a few lip products. So we have the Becca Glow Gloss in Lilac Geode. This came in a duo. I had the mini highlighter, and it came with this gloss as well. And it's really pretty right there. Just a nice, like, neutral gloss and then there's some gold shimmer in there as well it's a little bit purple but not enough to really show up like purple on your lips and I really like the Becca formula they're like a they smell a little bit minty but they don't like tingle um but I really like these they're very smooth they even though they have like that sparkle in it you don't feel any glitter like grittiness or anything um yeah, so I really like this one. Another lip gloss, I have the Dominique Cosmetics Lemonade Lip Gloss. This is in the shade Strawberry Lemonade. I think it's Strawberry Lemonade. I can't really read it. Um, but they had like two shades of this that they were sending out in BoxyCharm. Um, I think a peachy shade and then this like pinky shade. And this is really nice. It's just a creamy creamy pink color it's really natural it feels really nice has like kind of like a sweet scent um but it's not too sticky but it's not also like gonna run off your face um i really recommend this one i do really like it this is a good one okay the last two i actually finished for the fifth use today. So we have the Steve Laurent lip liner in the shade Chic. I have this underneath um, another lip product I'm going to talk about in a minute. That is the color right there. So it's like a dark brown, but I would put like a lip balm on and then just kind of outline and then run it a little bit in the middle and then like rub my lips together and it just kind of blended it out it made it look more natural and I really liked that and um it lasts quite a while too and then my last one is from Kaja this is the wing eyeliner pen this came in the duo with the wing stamp that I decluttered but this eyeliner is amazing I don't want to swatch it because I well I have it on today um, the last few videos that you've seen that I have wing eyeliner on, it has been this one. This does not budge. This will stay on all day long. I've even gone um, swimming and this will stay on. Um, yeah, this is good. And it applies really easy. This is the best felt tip liner that I have used. Um, so, I really recommend that. If you can get it not in the duo with the stamp because the stamp was weird and I don't like that. Um, but yeah, that's really good. So that's everything that I used five times already. Um, I do have a few products here that I'm currently working on that I'll share with you quickly. I'll do more of a review in their up, the next update. But these are a few products that will probably be done next time. First we have the Ciate London Everyday Vacay face powder. I just used this for the first time today, but um, I finished off the powder that I'm panning, so now I can focus on using that one. I have the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Haze. I've used this three times, so two more times. 
Same along with this lip gloss. This is the Revlon Ultra HD Vinyl Lip Polish. I've used this I've used this three times as well. And then lastly, the Dose of Colors Liquid Lipstick in Nude Mood. I've used this twice, and I do have this on today as well. But then I topped it with, like, um, my Revlon Lip Butter in Strawberry Shortcake. So I kind of have a mixture on today, but I really like this as well. So that is everything that I have for you guys today. I hope you guys liked this quick little update and hopefully I'll be able to move through some more products soon so that I can share some more review with you guys. Reviews with you guys, that sounded weird. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys like this video. Definitely like, comment, and subscribe down below for more and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye guys!